Hello, welcome to ASNU. Today we're going to be looking at gasoline injectors or petrol injectors and we're going right back to basics. So here we have a nice simple diagram. This shows the injector with a supply of fuel on the top, an electronic switch inside the engine ECU and the vehicle battery supplying power. Now I've shown the electronic switch in the red positive wire to the injector but it could equally be in the blue negative wire to the injector. The injector itself really doesn't care. Inside the injector, we've got a very fine filter protecting it from debris, a solenoid valve or electromagnet, a plunger, which is held down by a spring, and outlet holes to allow fuel out. At the moment, there's no fuel flowing because the plunger is held down by the spring and the solenoid is de-energized. The ECU decides when to fire the injector and for how long by closing the, ele the electronic switch. So if I close the electronic switch, the solenoid has been energized, the plunger has been lifted or attracted towards the electromagnet against the force of the spring and the fuel pressure, the holes have opened and we've now got fuel coming out of the injector. A good injector will have multiple holes in the end, allowing lots of fine sprays coming out, which atomize well and mix with the air properly. The flow through the injector is controlled by the internal dimensions and the difference in pressure between the inlet fuel pressure and the pressure in the intake manifold. For normally aspirated engines, this is going to be a slight vacuum. For boosted engine, turbo engines, this is going to be a positive pressure. With the switch permanently closed, we're operating in what's called static flow mode. So the flow is permanent, and this is the absolute maximum flow we can achieve from this injector. So how do we change the flow rate out of the injector? Well, we use something known as duty cycle. So if I operate the switch continuously, you can see it's on for half the time and off for half of the time. Normally that's expressed as a percentage. So if I operate the switch at 50% duty cycle, you can see over time the flow is 50% of the static flow. If I were to close the switch for one second in every 10 seconds, then the duty cycle would be 10% and the flow would be 10% of the static flow. Like all things in life, things aren't always quite that simple. We'll be covering advanced topics in some further videos. So, thanks for watching. We look forward to seeing you soon.